This video is inspired by a comment ni Mr. No. So, sabi niya, Astig mo kuya, kahit onti pa lang subs mo, di ka na dedemotivate gumawa ng content. Keep it up, kuya. Solid. First of all, sorry, hindi pa ito nire-reply yan. This video will be dedicated to reply dun sa comment mo. This story is about chasing my dream and hopefully by the end of this video, you start chasing yours. Growing up, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So, nung bata ako, sinabi ko na gusto ko maging fireman, gusto ko maging baker, gusto ko maging astronaut. Mga jobs na wala naman talaga ang alam. Then comes fourth year high school. So, kailangan ko na mag-decide ko ano yung degree na kukunin ko in college. So, sinabi ko sa mom ko na so ako maging entrepreneur. And my mom told me na only family na may businesses succeed as an entrepreneur. So, I just keep it at the back of my mind. So, instead, I took up engineering kasi siya na yung parang next highest paying job na mukhang pwede ako kasi I love man. One of the most underrated na tambahin sa kapuha. <laughs> West Once I was in college, I did very well during the first two and a half years until I met this prof. Yung name niya is Sir Evang. So he has mental health issues. Ah, uh, hindi mo siya pwedeng tingnan sa mata and if babae ka, hindi ka pwedeng umupo sa harapan kasi feeling niya magkaka-issue sa inyong dalawa and that's how paranoid he is. During this time, I was emotionally soft and nasabihan niya ako ng bobo sa class and napag-initan niya ako and hindi ko kinayang tanggapin yun. I have two classes sa kanya that term. It's vector analysis and add math. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-drop ako sa add math and hindi ko na pinasukan yung vector. How I wish na dinarap ko na lang din yung vector. Mas naging masaya pa sana ako. It's an important inflection sa life ko kasi yun lang yung only time that I quit. Fast forward major subjects, I realized na I'm not a natural in engineering. I suck at it and I never liked it. If kagaya kita na na-realize mo na late in college, nag-major ka na na hindi mo na pala gusto yung degree mo, Tapusin mo na lang kasi once you're done in college, you could always switch careers naman. During this time, I wasn't really into engineering anymore. So, I just put myself out there. Sinabi ko sa mga friends ko na gusto ko mag-start ng business. And buti na lang, I have a friend who has an idea of starting a t-shirt business. And after a term, nagawa namin yung t-shirt business idea niya. And that brings back yung spark ng entrepreneurship sa akin. And it gives me hope na pwede ka palang mag-business without family background dun sa business na yun. Then comes ang nag-OJT na ako. I was an intern at a well-known telco company here in the Philippines. And I was just looking at that time nung panahon yun. I, w- I was just waiting until matapos yung shift ko. And it gives me a glimpse of what it's like to work at a 9 to 5. And hindi ko siya nagustuhan. Then an opportunity came to be a Sun Life Advisor just a term before ako gumraduate. And the catch is, hindi ko kailangan pumunta sa office every day. Just need to go into meetings twice a month and hit yung quota and I'm good. And at that time, hindi ko siya nakitang uh, career. I just only see it as an escape dun sa 9 to 5. During my first 6 months, yung nabentahan ko lang is my mom. And sabi ko sa sarili ko nun, Oh fuck mo, hindi to magwo-work. Mukhang kailan ko mag-work na 9 to 5. Then I was able to close my first client. Took me 3 months and 3 meetings to close my first client. And balik tayo dun sa question na hindi ka ba na demotivate? And to answer that question, yes, lagi ako na demotivate from rejections, from low sub count, from low view count. But going back dun sa story ng first client ko, uh, it took me 3 meetings to close that client. So, nung unang meeting namin, I was uh, rejected, uh, got demotivated. But again, I showed up dun sa second meeting, got rejected, got demotivated. But, I show up again dun sa third meeting. And finally, dun sa third meeting na yun, I was able to close my first client. If I didn't upload my 95th video, would Mr. No commented and subscribe sa channel ko? Hindi, di ba? Yung lesson lang dun is to always show up. And kailangan mo lang i-remind yung sarili mo na it's not about the destination, it's all about the journey. This video is not about saying na 9 to 5 is bad. Both my parents works at a 9 to 5, my mom works for a private company, and my dad works for the government. And we're very grateful ng mga siblings ko to them kasi they were able to give us a very great life. But what I want to emphasize sa video na to is to be yourself and keep chasing your dreams. At this point, I realize na I'm not pursuing entrepreneurship anymore for the money, but instead, I'm pursuing entrepreneurship for the freedom na maging ako just to be myself. Before I end this video, let me read that comment again. Astig mo kuya, kahit onti pa lang subs mo, di ka na dedemotivate kumuha ng content. Keep it up kuya, solid. If you're chasing your dream, especially if it is a path less taken, expecting people around you to resist you and not support you at first. My mom always talks to me na I should get a more secure job and to be honest, it drags me down. But I have to keep myself na reminded na 
sinasabi niya lang yun because she's only concerned and gusto niya lang yung the best for me. Another harsh word na nareceive ko was from my best friend and tinanong niya ako, are you still making YouTube videos? And sinabi ko sa kanya, oo. And he gives me a feedback. Sabi niya sa akin, uh, baka yung personality mo hindi talaga pang YouTube. And that hurts really much para akong sinikmuraan ng mga panahon yun. Going back dun sa comment, kung nade-demotivate ba ako? Yes, a lot. From the views, from the sub count, from the people around me. But I always need to remind myself kung bakit ko ba ito ginagawa. And there's a quote saying na, It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. I'm not in YouTube for the most views, for the most sub count. I'd rather reach 10 viewers and make one chase their dream rather than reach a million viewers and waste all of their time.